Oh my gosh, you guys, welcome to your D&D &D workout. Officially, the coldest D&D &D workout we have ever done. It is 30 uh, some degrees here in Georgia, and oh, is it windy. So we're gonna use that wind as a Foley artist, <laughs> signifying um, the crazy storms that we are battling our way through. Uh, but anyways, you guys, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to your D and D workout. If you are brand new to this show, my name is Cameron from the acrobatic comedy show, Barely Balanced. As you are checking in, say hi. Let us know what your home Ren Fair is. Uh, and if you are brand new, introduce yourself. Say hello. Let us know where you're from. And you guys, if you see somebody brand new, welcome them as well. If you see somebody from your own home show, welcome them. I would love for us to all make some fellow nerdy workout friends as we all go through this. And you can see how my big nose is already getting red. Oh, it is so cold out here. Uh, but a couple, you guys, of uh, quick nerdy jokes as everyone logs in. Then we're going to get into the show. Let's see. Uh, next name I see on the list. Oh, I love this. Seeing everybody logging in right now. This is so good. Oh, and hey, it's Colleen. Hi, Colleen. So we're going to start things off. Um with you. So Colleen, uh, recently I did a special course, an online class that is all about um, kind of like fatigue in your muscles. I would talk about it more, but it's a sore subject. <laughs> okay, okay, just two more, two more, then we'll get into it. Let's see who the next name is I see popping up is uh, David. Hey, David. Good to see you, man. Uh, so, David, uh, what do you call uh, what do you call a Mexican who is out of protein powder? No way, Jose. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Just one more. Just one more. Um, let's see. Who do we got next in here? Oh, we got my buddy. This is so good. Trisha from up in Wisconsin, our original BBVIP crew. So Trisha, something I think we got to bring to light at this point. Quarantine's been going on for a long time. Despite that, my body still looks like it's carved out of marble. Oh, not from muscles. No, I'm just incredibly white. All right, you guys, before we get into this, I do have to give a huge shout out right off the top uh, to Leah, to Patrick, uh, to Diane, uh, and to Chanel, all of you for tipping before the show even started. Thank you guys so much. If you are brand new to the show, here's what you can expect from tonight's episode. We're going to do a really quick recap of what's been going on in the show. We are then going to do a wild warm up, have some fun, before we do a workout that is going to be kickboxing style, designed to strengthen our legs, our core, and our lower backs. Now, no equipment is needed for this. This is a beginner style workout. I will, however, be giving some modifications if you do want to make this more challenging. But you don't need anything for this. All you need is your awesome self. So let's get into this, you guys. I think it's time. Let's make this happen. So let's start off with just um, hugging in one knee, rolling the ankle, and then switching legs as we go through our previously on. Oh, and Casey, thank you so much for the tip. Casey, you're warming my frigid nipples. Uh, we'll edit that out in post. All right, you guys, so you are the Wayfarer. You are a magical warrior who's been traveling the land trying to save the world. You are teamed up with your best friend, the Battle Corgi, Rin Tin Ricky. And with your Battle Corgi, Rin Tin Ricky, you have flown to the top of the Sky Fang Mountains using his magical Pegasus wings and a leaf kite that was grown for you by the spirit of the forest, a seedling creature named Wick. All right, you guys, now let's switch things over to, um, we're gonna be warming up our hands next. So we're gonna do just a rocking forwards, backwards kick. If you wanna hold onto the wall or a chair, keep your knee bent as you do this, okay? So you're going to the top of the Sky Fang Mountains. The reason for this is you're trying to return a Basset Round pup named Heather to its pack. Let's switch legs. Now, Basset Rounds are like Basset Hounds, except all the loose skin is filled with gas, allowing them to fly through the air. And they use their giant ears like big kites. So you flew to the top of the Sky Fang Mountains, back to the first leg again. And you got up there to find her pack, getting ready to battle against the Cult of Cat Thulu. A wild battle took place. You even defeated their incredible paladin, Yarnir. However, 
Catthulhu Switch Legs was released. And now we've got a face off against the Elder God Catthulhu before it can bring about a total catastrophe. <laughs> So let's make this happen, you guys. If you are ready for this workout to begin, throw a thumbs up on the screen and we'll get this warm up happening. Oh, shoot. And also, a big thank you to Ricky for tipping. He is just amazing. He is who our Battle Corgi is named after, Rinten Ricky. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, we have a lot of characters named after the, the tippers, the supporters of the show. If you would like to get a character named after you, tipping is the way to do that. You can find all the information on how to tip in the show's description. It is easy Venmo, PayPal, Patreon. It is a great way to keep this show going if you like this content week after week. So, all right, guys, clear area, bit of space. It is about to get started. Love seeing those thumbs ups popping on the screen. I love that Alan here getting some awesome images going to super cute. All right, you guys, here we go. Boulders shatter all around you. Quickly grapevine to one side, a little bit of side kick, grapevine to the other, side kick. To your left, a rock shatters. To your right, a paw the size of a carriage bursts through the ground. It's it. It's happening. Cthulhu is emerging. And it's tearing down the mountain like a kitten with a new couch. Oh no. Whew. Keep going, you guys. You've got this grapevine. Sometimes I feel like the only way I'm going to get shredded at the gym is if my shoelaces get caught in the Stairmaster. <laughs> I'm trying to switch pages, but my fingers are so cold. Uh, uh. We have got to get out of here, you guys. So let's dodge some of this shattering ground around us with hurdle steps. So like you're stepping over a rock, a hurdle, or an annoying toddler. Big steps. You've got this, you guys. We've got to get out of here. Cthulhu rips free. The feline horror stands over a hundred feet tall with whiskers like tentacles that gnash about like enormous whips. Oh, it rumbles. I am the dread lord, Bessemiao. Named for Andrew Besamir. Thank you so much for supporting the show. You are now our arch villain. <laughs> not sure if that's a good thing or not. I demand snackies. Then I will toy with this world. Meow. <laughs> Before destroying it. Speaking of villains. What is Thanos' favorite vegetable to snack on? Snap peas. <laughs> a paw slams towards you. We're going to now switch to doing a squat. Send your butt back, weight in the heels, arms up high, and then hinge at the waist and come forwards to touch your shins. And then squat back up, arms up, touch the shins. We're going into a wide leg forward bend as that paw comes rocketing down towards us. You've got this, you guys. Keep moving, keep going. We've got to survive. We don't want to let Bessem Yao destroy us. Whew. Wick, riding upon your shoulder, the little seed creature shoots a vine towards Heather, the basset round pup, shoots another vine towards Rintin Ricky. Your friends bite onto them and lift off pulling you out of the way of the vine that you're grabbing onto and pulling your way through. You go flying up into the air, but your friends, they're exhausted from fighting against the cult of Cthulhu. They can't hold all of your weight. So instead, you're gonna have to jump. You gotta make something happen. The bass rounds. Heather's pack barks. They're ready to help. Leap for a basset round. Speaking of this, one of my friends was feeling sad, so he jumped into a septic tank. He's really feeling down in the dumps. <laughs> All right, switch, you guys. Standing fully upright. Arms up, you're pulling on those vines. Drive your knee up, come up onto your toes, down and switch. Leaping through the air. Elbows down and knee up, up onto the toes of your supporting leg if you can. If you can't, that's too much balance, that is fine. You grab on and pull. 
you go sailing 40 feet through the air with the assistance of your friends. You land on top of one of the basset hounds. The strong, sturdy creature does its best to hold you, but it begins to sink. It can't hold you for long. You then leap to another one. Each one falls as you land, but you keep going. It's like leaping across fuzzy stairs. Recently, I was going down the stairs and I slipped right on some medicine. Last time I trip on Robitussum. <laughs> You're doing awesome, you guys. Oh, a huge shout out, Jamie. Thank you so much. The moment you, your tip came through, a couple of snow flurries flew past my face. I'm going to choose to imagine that you are the winter wizard bringing this cold weather. Your powers are amazing, Jamie. Keep going, you guys. Keep going. You go flying. You land on the pups, but don't lose your balance. Next warm-up exercise, you guys. We're going to do a bird feeder with a quad pole. Now, bird feeder, put all your weight into one leg. Nice long line, hinge forwards halfway. If you want to hold onto a chair, come up, and then pull the quad in and switch legs. So I'm going to hinge forwards. You can put arms down by your waist or extend them out in front of you. Hinge in. This is going to simulate how hard it would be to keep your balance on top of oh, those basset rounds. So get yourself moving. Find your balance. Bessa meow roars. You will not escape, mortal morsel. Oh no, you will not. I will consume you. Bessemiao charges down the shattering mountain. Chaos follows in its wake. There's an avalanche of destruction following it. Uh, did you know? that there is one feline that is incapable of monogamy. The cheetah. <laughs> You're doing great, you guys. Bessemiao roars and his tentacles whip towards you. We've got a dodge clear. So for this one, you're gonna do a side step or if you wanna make it harder, a side jump. So step to the side, step to the side. Just like this, stepping one side to the other. And if you wanna make it harder, leap it. Leap it side to side. The tentacle comes flying in towards you. You've got to leap clear and knock the basset round that you're riding on to safety. You jump to the right. The basset round flies aside. The tentacle whips right through where you were just standing. You made it clear, but more tentacles are coming. Jump quickly. You're doing awesome. The basset rounds are brave creatures. They've got your back, literally, uh, they're back to your feet. <laughs> but there's only so many of them and Bessemiao isn't giving up. Running isn't gonna cut it. We've gotta go on the offensive. So what do you say, guys? Come out of it. Are you ready to face off and bring the pain to this elder god? If you're ready for this thing to happen, throw up a heart emoji and let's get this workout going. I hope you are warmed up and ready for this, you guys. I feel like I'm starting to shake off that cold a little bit going through all this. I see Elizabeth saying, Cheetah! <laughs> that joke is so bad and I love it. Oh, I love seeing those hearts rolling in, you guys. Let's make it happen, y'all. Here we go. Heather and Rin Tin Ricky grunt. They pull on the vines attached to you. They take your weight, but they can't hold you for long. We've got to make it count. So let's use one of our classics, one of our favorite weapons and attacks, magic missile toes. Missile toes. So level one for this, you guys. If you're new to working out, level one is the way to start. Alan Bell, I love you, man. You're cracking me up, bud. Level one, you're gonna hold onto a chair or the wall. You're gonna come into a side kick, okay? So you're gonna come up, kick out, bring it down. Just like this, all on one side, okay? If you wanna make it harder and go for level two, don't hold onto the chair so you can keep your balance as you bring it up. If you're going for level three, you've been working out for a while, you wanna push it. Then instead, don't let your foot touch down as you come up, keep your balance, and then see if you can do a one-legged squat and then kick again. So I'm doing a little kick, 
one-legged squat and up. That's gonna be level three. Pick the one that works for you and let's do this. Toe-shaped missiles go flying from your feet, sailing towards Bessemiao. Bessemiao sees the missiles coming and his tentacles snap out like lightning and crack like thunder, shielding it from your attack. Oh no! Did you hear about the soldier who got struck by lightning? He was honorably discharged. <laughs> keep going, you guys, keep going. You're doing awesome. All right, switch legs, other legs, sidekicks. Make it happen. Oh. oh, dang it, your mistletoes got blocked. This being is so powerful. That's not gonna work. We've gotta come up with something else. Luckily, at least, it can't reach us while we're way up here on our Basset rounds. But what's this? Oh no, your mouth falls open as massive bat-like wings extend from its shoulders and Bessemiao begins to lift off the ground. It is time to go, y'all. Next workout, let's see if I can switch the page this time. It worked. I hope you can hear me okay, it is so windy out here. It's blowing the script all over the place. <laughs> Here we go, you guys, next workout. Bambi liking the mistletoes, thank you, Bambi. Okay, so we are leaping to safety as this one comes crashing in towards us. So level one, you guys, you're gonna be going for a back kick, back behind, just like this. I look back over my foot, I kick back, I bring my foot down, I do just a little step where it's back. So back kick, step back, bring it in, just like that. If you want to go for level two, then you're going to do a back lunge. So back kick, step back, bend the knee, lunge. Oh, and Michael, thank you so much for the tip, my man. You're awesome. If you want to go for level three, you guys, then on this one, instead of it being a back kick, you're going to bring it straight up. Squeeze your butt. Make it a butt lift up, and then back lunge, knee all the way to the ground. Step in. Bring it up. Kick that leg up. Back lunge down. Starting with your right leg. Let's make this happen, you guys. You jump and shoot a missile from your feet to get some extra distance. You go flying through the air. Cat-thulu meow lifts off, sounding like a hurricane. Snow flies up all around it, creating a swirling fog. Rinton, Ricky, and Heather are panting. Wick looks ready to collapse. Speaking of collapsing, I was playing charades the other day with my grandfather when suddenly he fell over and let loose a huge fart. I guessed, gone with the wind. <laughs> All right, you guys, switch legs, switch legs. Back kick, back step, lunge. Your choice, make it happen. Oh. Your friends are exhausted, but you can't give up. This is your world and you can protect it. The Basset rounds begin to howl, howl. In the distance, small dark shapes fly through the blizzard. You pray it's back up. All right, you guys, let's signal them. See if we can signal whatever these small dark shapes are. So level one for this, you're gonna be doing sky punching, just like this and you're gonna be shifting. So shift to one side, shift to the other. My legs are a little wider than my shoulders, okay? If you're going for level two, you're gonna be doing a side lunge. So again, legs wider than the shoulders, sit that butt back, reach up, careful. Sit that butt back, weight in the heel, reach up. If you're going for level three, if you're going for crazy mode, you're gonna go all the way down to that side lunge. So drip it all the way down. Sky punch and stay low as you come across, as low as you can, as low as you can. Your butt barely off the ground, okay? Pick the version that works for you. Carson saying both my dogs looked at the screen when you howled. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You begin punching the sky. Let's get it, you guys. Fire bolts shooting from your fists, going up into the sky and erupting into a spray of sparkling flames. These small, dark shapes see your fire 
and come zipping down through the sky towards you. You can't believe your eyes. What is this? Oh my word, there's dozens and dozens of beagle blimps, parachuting poodles, Doberman dirigibles, and min pin zeppelins. The entire hair force has arrived. All right, you guys, rest and celebrate for five. Shake it out. Three, two, one. Another round of it, you guys. Legs wide, shifting side to side into your side lunge. Sky punches. So I recently got a shirt. God, I love seeing those laugh emojis popping up. I'm glad you like my terrible humor. I had so much fun writing that last part. So I recently got a shirt made out of golden retriever fur. My wife said it looks quite fetching. <laughs> That one's not as good. <laughs> the bass rounds howl with joy. Ho, ho, ho! Their little tails wag so fast, they become like propellers, launching them through the air. They're ready to go on the offensive. They zoom in to encircle this naughty kitten. All right, you guys, come out of there. Shake it off for one sec. Shake it off, jazzercise, dance it out. You grab onto the basset round you're holding onto. Oh, you grab on tight as it dives head first towards Cat Thulu. All right, you guys, level one for this is gonna be a weight-free deadlift. If you've never done a deadlift before, I want your legs to be shoulder width apart, knees softly bent. Nice and long through your spine, knees are softly bent. Come forwards, hands to your shins or your ankles. As you come up with your back long, squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze those glutes, okay? Come up, jab, jab. Bring it down. Up, jab, jab, okay? That's level one. If you wanna go for level two, you're gonna do a standing Superman. So you're gonna come down and then open up like you're flying through the air. Leg up, hands up. Then come up, squeeze the butt, jab, jab, switch legs, okay? Level three, you ain't coming up. You're just doing pulses in that Superman. So you're gonna come down here. You're gonna come up, leg up, pulse once, bring it down, switch legs. Leg up, pulse once, switch sides. Pick your version. Let's make this happen, you guys. We're already getting near the end of this workout. You are kicking so much butt on this chilly adventure we're having today. So you grab on tight, you guys, as you fly head first, straight towards the monster. Tentacles crack all around you. Each time you reach down and pull on the Basset Rounds collar and narrowly dodge the whisker tentacles flying your way. You've got this, you guys. You get closer and closer. Bessie meow is cracking out with its tentacles as quickly as it can, but it can't seem to get you. You're zipping in too quickly. The other basset rounds see that it's distracted and they come in to nip at its ears, its hind legs, and its flanks. You're doing awesome, you guys. Everybody rest. Rest, shake it off for five, four, three, two, one. Megzy Tread saying, this is awesome, thanks. You are so welcome, Megs. All right, guys, we are getting back into it. Let's make it happen. Pick your version, here we go. Back into it. Best of meow hisses, but more in annoyance than in pain. The gigantic, colossal, evil kitty is just too big for your basset rounds and the hair force to be able to truly take it out. There's gotta be something that you can do. <sighs> Did you know that there is a special search engine that monsters use? It's called Ghoul Ghoul. <laughs> That's, a joke. That's some straight up eight year old material right there. <laughs> All right, you guys, you're doing awesome. There has to be something else to do. You turn to Wick, your seedling friend, and you ask him, what can we do? You have any ideas? Wick says, yes, I have an idea, but I'm going to need your help. Quickly, punt these vine balls. 
So Wick begins tossing vine balls, you guys. Next workout, we're getting really close to the end. You're killing it. Great job, you guys. So Wick's on your shoulder tossing balls of vines towards your feet. You're gonna kick them. So level one, hold onto the wall or a chair. Your knee is bent. You're bringing it up for a kick and then back down. I step a little behind me so I get a nice drive as I come up. But again, don't hurt your hamstring. So keep that knee bent. Only come up to a point that works it for you, okay? That's gonna be level one. If you're going for level two, no chair to hold on to and see if you can keep your foot from touching down as you bring it up for that kick. You can do a swing or you can do a full kick. But either way, keep that knee protected by not hyper extending. If you wanna go for level three, oh, it's gonna be vicious, you guys. Instead of bringing it up for a kick, you're gonna hold it up and do pulses right in front of you, okay? So get ready, pick the version you would like. We are flying through this, you guys. We're already on the final page. You've got this. Wick tosses vine balls. Let's do this, you guys. Start with your right leg. Tosses vine balls and you begin kicking them. He calls out, we've been away from the forest for too long. I don't have much magic left. I think I can pull this off though. You kick the vine balls and you see as they go through the air, he grows them, expands them, creating a lattice work through the air. These grow together, forming a massive box kite. You're doing so good, you guys. Next to you, beneath you, Bessemiao Cthulhu roars, and a hole in reality rips through the sky. Through it, you can see another world, another reality, one filled with madness and horror. Switch legs, you guys. Switch legs. Wicks. Gigantic, grown box kite looms in the air. Cthulhu roars and then suddenly looks over and sees your box kite and its roar stops. The gigantic evil kitty's head turns to the side and it leaps into the air. Not even Cthulhu can resist jumping into a paper bag. The dogs see what you've done. They see what you've created and they know that this might be their only chance. So they're gonna use the one thing they have left to give, the very gas in their bodies that allows them to fly through the air that makes them the doggy blimps. They're gonna use it up, but can we find a way to ignite it? So what do you say, heroes? Do you have anything left in you? Do you have what it takes to cast one massive, super powerful fireball? Last workout, you guys. Last one, you've got this. We gotta make this fireball happen. And to do that, we're putting together everything we've learned tonight. So level one, you're doing a front kick. You're doing a back kick. Then you're doing a side kick. And repeat, all on the same leg, okay? If you're going for level two, level two, you're gonna be mixing it up by adding in lunges. So it'll go front kick, step a little ways forwards to do a front lunge, step back in. Back kick, slight step back, come down halfway for the back lunge. Side kick, step out, side lunge. If you're going for level three, take those lunges all the way down. So your knee hovers an inch above the floor. Those are our versions, you guys. Pick the one that works for you. Level one, if you are new to working out. Level two, if you've been working out for a while. Level three, if you wanna go real advanced. That's gonna be a, a tear you up one. Let's do this, you guys. Front kick, back kick, side kick. Rinton, Ricky, and Heather hold you up with each kick. A roiling ball of flames grows larger and larger ahead of you. It crackles with bright white fury. This is your world. No cat is going to shred it. Stop it across it like it just came out of the litter box. You've got this, you guys. You've got to take charge. Bessemiao leaps into the paper bag kite. The entire hair force zooms into the bag and releases all of their gas in one gigantic doggy fart. <laughs> They fall from the sky, proving 
that it can rain, cats and dogs. Switch your legs, you guys. You've got this. Switch your legs. It's time to hot box this elder god. You kick out and send your roiling fireball flying into the bag. It smacks right into the bag of gas and boom! A sonic boom hits as the methane explodes and Cthulhu is launched flying through the air back to the hole in reality that it ripped open. Your insane heat of the methane blast sears and cauterizes the wound in the world, sealing Cthulhu back into its realm of horrors. You fall and fall and fall before crashing into a snowbank. Overhead, the sky clears. All around you are so many dogs, all ready to cuddle and get lots of good pets. And in the air hangs that sweet, sweet smell of victory that smells faintly of dog farts. Come out of it, you guys. Workout is complete. Bring it in for a fist bump, you guys. Boom. Great job. That was a quick one, but a hard one. I'm so proud of y'all. Did you have a good time? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments. Sound off, you guys, if you survived. Sound out. Let me know. Let's keep moving, though. Shake out your body. Shake out your legs. That was one of our harder leg and low back ones. You did so good. Julia saying, yay puppies, I agree. Chanel saying, I can't call that an explosive ending. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you guys, into our cool down stretch. This is so important. I cannot recommend enough not skipping your cool down stretch. It's gonna be fast. We'll be done in about eight minutes, but it will make you heal faster, get better, gains and rewards. So first off, just a standing quad stretch. Just reach back, grab the foot, squeeze it in towards the butt, hold it for two seconds. Two seconds, okay? As our heart rate is still up, we don't want to be bending over. We don't want to be doing any forward bends yet, anything like that. And we're just gonna do some easy standing stretches for our cool down. Let's see what people are saying. Adam Stiles saying, loved it. Those pulses were hard. Oh my gosh, yes. Add a pulse into any workout you do and you will be amazed at how much harder it makes things. Okay, you guys. Oh, Sandra, thank you so much for the tip. You are wonderful, Sandra. Next, I want you to step one leg back, so you're going into a lunge, then sink that hip forwards, really stretch it out, and then the same arm as that leg, reach it up and extend over. You should feel a long stretch all the way across your body. You're doing awesome, you guys. So I think it's time to talk about what we're doing next now that we have wrapped up season three. So coming up next, you guys, we're doing a special one-off of Harry Potter. We're doing a wand-based workout. So get ready to bust out your wands, visit Hogwarts, get sorted into your house, and have a crazy Hogwarts battle. So that's gonna be our next episode. More info will be coming up soon when I get the event going for that. I already started writing it because I was having so much fun. All right, come out, let's switch legs. Does that sound fun to you guys? Are you pumped for that? We, uh, we're talking a lot about what we wanna do next. And that one and Lord of the Rings, super high on my list. A bunch of others I wrote down too. You guys had so many good ideas. But before we dive into season four, we're gonna have a little Harry Potter. Doing good, you guys, just a moment longer. I know we did a lot of lunges, but boy, this is good for you. Oh, bring it up, bring it up. Amy's saying that you have, oh, you have a scarf, that's awesome. Oh, I love it. These things are the best. I cannot recommend enough. Yeah, bust out those wands. I agree, Leah. You are the wand maker master. Okay, you guys, next stretch we're gonna do is a standing cat cow, also known as slow, soulful twerking. So hands on your thighs. I want you to arch up, look up, chin up, and then arch forwards. We did a lot with our lower backs. This is a stretch you can do without going down to the ground. You could even do it while waiting in line at the bank and just freak everybody out. I feel like we fought enough kitties today that we've earned doing this move. Oh. So question for you guys, do you have a favorite, a favorite character in Harry Potter, your ultimate fave? Who is that character? Who's your fave? 
I am just like so partial to Hagrid, but man, there's so many good characters in those books. All right, so you guys, come out of that. This next one's gonna feel real good on your shoulders, especially if you've been in front of the computer a lot, working at home, that kind of stuff. So for this one, legs are gonna be wide. I'm gonna lower this down so you can see better. We're almost done with our stretching. Hands on the legs, legs are wide. You're gonna drop one shoulder down and look up. Just hold for a moment and then switch. I see Bambi saying, Luna love good. So awesome. She's got some great quotes about just being you, you know, like not worrying what other people think and just being who you are. Switch back and forth, just holding it for a moment. Just good active stretches. Oh, all right, you guys, that was so good. I want to add in a little bit of some hamstring action because we always got to give our hamstrings some love. Oh, and La just tipped. La, thank you so much. La, 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 la. It's a very cute name, much cuter than my singing. Why do I always sing? That's like not my talent. Of all the things I can do, singing is not it. Um, so pull your toes towards you. One leg out in front. Oh no, another tipper. Jennifer. Jennifer, I think you're special. You've got the kind of fur that we needed in this battle with some Jennifer. So just toe towards you, hinge forwards. Amy Saint can't pick a favorite because they each represent a damaged part of my personality. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Ren Fair. We are the island of misfit toys. We are all damaged beautifully. Uh, next leg, you guys. So switch legs, toe towards you, hinge forwards. If you've been having some tight hamstrings, and that is common with how much we've all been sitting, uh, I cannot recommend enough giving your hamstrings a little bit of extra stretching, a little bit of extra love. Go for a walk, get your body to wake up a little, and then take a moment on your hamstrings. Oh, here comes that wind, the storm's coming. Let's switch back to our first side one more time. We're gonna do one nice, easy stretch after this. Alan Bell saying, Fred and George, of course you said that. You are one of the most like trickery-loving people I know. You would own a store just filled with tricks. All right, switch, get that other leg just for about five seconds, and then we're gonna do our final stretch. So how was season three, you guys? Did you enjoy it? I know this is a little different than what we've done in the past. I had fun doing all these different fun little animal adventures on this one. We're gonna have a very different thing going on for season four, which is gonna be, uh, oh, it's gonna be weird. You're gonna dig it. So our last stretch, just like we did last time, interlace the fingers behind your back. And then you're gonna straighten out your arms, raise your chest up, chin up, and then pull those hands back and up. This helps to counteract all that hunching forwards, rolling forwards that we're all doing these days. So guys, if you do want to tip, if you haven't tipped yet, I send a thank you to everyone because, by man, I appreciate it so much. Y'all are not only just keeping this show going, but keeping me going through this craziness. Tipping is real easy. The links to it, the Patreon, our Venmo, our PayPal, it's all in the description for the video. And, it, man, y'all are my hero. Thank you guys for tipping and supporting and keeping this thing going. So many weeks now. This is episode 20, you guys. You made this happen. Y'all are amazing. All right, come out of that. Let's shake it out. <sighs> Last thing I want to say, you guys, is it's Monday, start of the week. You've already made one amazing, positive decision, and you got a whole week ahead of you. So get out there. Help a stranger. Show kindness to someone. Create magic in their lives. And be heroes. Wayfarers, you're my heroes. Thank you all so much. Until next Monday for our Harry Potter adventure, have a magic week. Love you guys. Bye. Jennifer.